Hi, uh, my name is Will Kingett. I work as an AIT engineer at RAL Space. Uh, one of the big projects I'm working on at the minute is Sentinel 4, which is just over here on my right shoulder. Uh, this part on top of the, the table is the Sentinel-4 Flight Model 2. It's a European Space Agency mission uh, for the Copernicus program. Particularly, this mission will be looking at air quality. So it's going to be in a stationary orbit. The downstream user will be uh, governments and health agencies will be able to look at the air quality over parts of Europe and provide hourly updates to citizens of Europe and Northern Africa on the, the quality of air. Flight Model 2 is the second one of these instruments that's being calibrated here at RAL Space. Um, the prime contractor for this mission uh, is Airbus. So it was assembled and integrated there and then it's been sent to us and we effectively put the satellite through its paces. So we test to see if all the equipment on it is working, that it's rejecting the right amount of heat and that all of the optics inside are performing in the way that we've intended them to perform any biases or any issues we want to make sure we know about that while it's still on the ground so that after launch if there's any corrections that we need to make we can do that using the data that we've collected on it on the ground making making this this kind of uh, instrument is very difficult it requires stakeholders all across europe and as a result we really want to make sure that we don't damage it in any way shape or form and so it's crucial that we make sure that our facility is ready to do that and that we're monitoring it while it's under test so as that it doesn't experience any harm that we aren't expecting it to, to go through. Uh, and it's my role to make sure that everything works in that regard and that we're all uh, working together well. So it's, it's a lot of hard work and a lot, a lot of late nights and, and collaborating with people uh, from loads of different groups. Uh, so the fact that this next one's launching is it, it, great news. It's, it's, it's amazing seeing all the hard work that everyone's put in materialize into something that's so, you know, visible, uh, such as, you know, a rocket launching into the atmosphere. Get into space is, is one big tick, but the next exciting thing will be it collecting its first data sets and then that data being used by, you know, the peoples of Europe and, and North Africa for, for air quality purposes. It's, it's really, really exciting.